thing you must know that the, the Howland Monkey Deposit uh, has uh, one well, male Howland and one distinguishing feature. Now, <laughs> they are the loudest, <laughs> the second loudest <laughs> animal in the world. Okay, so he did, he, he, you know, he knew what he was doing. He went home that night on the Tuesday and uh, put in 13 facts on the blog. Um, and uh, yeah, nothing special particularly about that. But after he went to bed overnight, with the help of um, you know, my PLN and people on Twitter, they kind of visited the blog and made some comments. Not only just commenting, I commented first, I tried to comment on all blog posts. Um, encouraging him, but not only that. Um, started to add their own information on the fact that they'd come across what they were researching. And it went on through through the night there, I had teachings there, some other visits, you get the, the idea, just building on these 13 facts. And as it went on, so we me again just to say, wow, this is great, I don't know what's going on. Deputy from Sheffield, this is scary. Know. But then at 7.30 the next morning, something just brilliant happened. I got an email from uh, Mike Mashari. Mike, there you are. I got an email from Mike. I mean, you wouldn't, you just can't write this stuff. I mean, you send me an email saying, you know, his daughter works or volunteers at some Howland and Monkey Sanctuary in Guatemala or Hacktop. And he said, this is her email address. So I got Roger out of class in the morning and said, look, this is really exciting. You know, sent an email to, to uh, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. And within a couple of hours, I had a reply. And in the reply was a lot more information, information about her pet, how the monkeys that she'd had from birth and she'd reared, and included an attachment of 10 photographs of these different how monkeys. Um, as a result of that afternoon, um, Roger then edited his uh, blog post. Would have been a narrative in about the, the story that was unfolded that day. He included text from the email and the pictures he put into a, a photo piece, embedded the code into the post, and he expanded his, his research, you know, four or five fold really, just from the support from people who were reading his blog. And that's kind of the first, the first blog post. It just starts off with, te with text. And the second, the second one, again, Possibly even more simple. Um, we did a World Cup project blog uh, during the World Cup. John Sutton has created ICT blog that's done it. And uh, 32 teams, uh, each team had a, a school involved. We have Germany. And long story short, one of the nights that Germany was playing and England were playing, Matthew, one of the year sixes, came running into the school building. By the way, England lost. Uh, but he went, we won! We won! And I was thinking, what are you talking about? What have we lost? He said, no, Germany, we won! And we could only should be had over that. <laughs> he, he'd gone home and was supporting Germany for more than, uh, than England. And I just did a broad blog post like this. Talk about the you know, The first word a child said to me this morning, uh, it was here, sorry, sorry. Uh, Amos Fitch, we won 4 0 to win. Did you see it? No mention of the England game. Just an infectious sense of enthusiasm. And just text went on the blog. Lots of different people uh, have left comments. Uh, <laughs> no, comment number five the German embassy came along <laughs> from London. And not just a little blog post. I mean, a, a comment, but a really long, detailed comment saying that when he was, he was watching the 66 <coughs> Cup final, inspired to play football, and uh, some little quotes here about what he got in, involved in, and managers' quotes, and just, you know, best wishes. And, and I, shot, I ran into school the next day, and I said, you've got to look at this, you've got to see this. Put it up on the board, and they're like, yes, that's fantastic. And then Marion said, this picture, well, that's really good, but well, what's, what's an ambassador? <laughs> yeah, no, so you know, we would look to what ambassadors were and what that James Bond and some videos and maybe like that. That's not really, really lucky. And not only that, he came back again later on because we'd all gone and said thank you. He came back on later on with another with another blog post and uh, gave us his personal email address if anyone still wanted to ask questions about the embassy and things the role Germany were playing, uh, what German embassy was playing in the World Cup and things like that. And it was just a magical experience that. Two of our most simplest 
blog posts have the biggest impact. And we do all this about all these different new tools that we work.